So, the new event, the Siege of Winterfell, started today. And I already managed to play one round of it at 1300. I want to give a quick and easy explanation on how to play the game mode. I'm not going to go into details on, on strategies or um, which commands to use or anything like that. It's just strict uh, and quick on how to, to play the game. Alright, so when you enter the map and your castle gets automatically deployed in the area of your alliance. It's either the Stark side or the Greyjoy side. After you've deployed your castle, you can already prepare your armies. So you can select three commanders per army and your usual army size from, from troops. Uh, please note that army buffs or any buffs that you can apply manually or that are being shown in the overview where you can see the buffs won't apply for uh, Army of the Dead. Uh, won't apply for Siege of Winterfell. This means that the total attack buff, the um, the army size increase, uh, those three won't have any effect in, in the event, um, unlike AOTD or an Alliance Conquest. Um, yeah. So after you've created your three armies um, and the game starts, you basically want to um, control as many points on the map as possible. So the, the idea is a few people go to the um, Stark and Greater Outpost, depending on which side you're on, the ones close to you. And the other ones, and especially the stronger players, start moving to the Armory and the Spring. Um, because they are quite crucial, they are like, similar to the uh, Tower of the Boreal and Tower of the Mother in AC. So you get an attack buff and a healing buff, depending on which one you take with the spring being the healing buff. Um, furthermore, there are like four outposts in the middle of the map. Um, outposts 1, 2, 3 and 4, they don't have any specific names. Um, and they are also quite important to take, um, because in the middle of the map there's Winterfell. And after a few minutes there's a um, resourcing, resource that's being spawned at Winterfell. And collecting this and escorting it to one of the clo one of the posts that you um, control as an alliance gives a huge amount of points. So you want to control the closest outposts to Winterfell um, in order to be have a quick and easy um, escorting of the resources because the enemy alliance can theoretically stop you from escorting them. So that's pretty much all about the map. Um, the, this resource spawns every few minutes. I'm not sure about the exact interval yet, but it's like, I think, every 10 or 15 minutes. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about the combat and moving mechanics. Um, you can either select all your armies, or two armies, or just one army, and you can move them freely on the map. Um, you do that by right-clicking right on the map, and that basically um, gives the order to the army to deploy and to march towards the location you want them to. Combat-wise, if you encounter an enemy, you can send your army to attack them, and unless the enemy runs away, they will you will fight them. This is where the commanders come into play, and because when you fight, they trigger their abilities. Um, the main commander always triggers the, com the ability first, then the second, then the third commander, and it's always in this uh, rotation that they apply their um, buffs, uh, their abilities. So, the basic idea is, in order to win this game mode, is to group up with your alliance mates and coordinate in a way that you can always flank enemies that attack you or your outpost and kind of surprise them um, by coming out of the shadows and attacking them. Because fighting 101 can work out but it's relatively cost-heavy if you play against opponents of equal strength, so it should always be advised to, to try to find an advantage of the enemy by getting having a higher amount of, of uh, deployments around you and that fight. Because you don't always fight 1v1, and if there are like six people and they um, collapse onto one uh, enemy player, you can play six versus one and overwhelm them that way. 
Um, I'm really looking forward to playing the, the event later in, in my main alliance in HOH, because I, I, I had a lot of fun playing this mode. Um, it's, of course, it's a bit messy in the beginning. Um, I'm pretty sure I've missed thousands of things in, in this guide alone. That's why it's just a, it's a quick thing. Please don't blame me if, <laughs> if I said something wrong, because I've only played it myself once. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It looks like a lot of fun and a lot of chaos involved as well. I'm gonna be curious to see how it goes with the uh, bigger alliances when they have like six people on voice chat. It's gonna be um, quite interesting, I'd say. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Hope it hope it can help you out, clear a few things that were unclear before. Have fun in the new event and see you soon.